like I say, we're going to go back to uh, kind of square one here. Uh, what is the Victoria Electric Vehicle Association? So we're a volunteer-led nonprofit under the BC Societies Act. Uh, means we're we are official. Um, we're we're not just a club. We're not just a Facebook page. Uh, we actually have standing uh, under the BC Societies Act, and that uh, that helps us do things that uh, a standard club uh, can't do. Volunteer-led, though, uh, nobody <laughs> nobody is paid here. <laughs> uh, we run a, run a lot on uh, volunteer hours and uh, always need help. Uh, we have five board members and several people who assist in our research and media uh, outreach. Uh, I think this number might be a little low, but uh, we have 1,900 uh, discrete members across uh, BC, North America, and beyond into the globe. Uh, this is a very important point, uh, Vicky VA. We're both brand and politically as agnostic. We're brand agnostic because any company out there who's producing EVs today, uh, who's a hero, could be a bum tomorrow. Uh, because of their choices or, or what happens in, in the market. And anyone that's complete dog uh, might actually square themselves off and come up and, and be a shining hero. Uh, we haven't seen a whole lot of the latter uh, <laughs> recently. And uh, when I get into the, the rest of it, uh, you'll see why. Uh, we're also pol politically agnostic. Um, we don't really care who's in power or we don't favor anybody who's in power. Uh, we look at what that, that particular government and what their policies are doing. Uh, we'll do our best to get in there and uh, try and help them uh, do what's right, both for uh, our membership uh, as citizens of British Columbia, because we're, we're not just consumers, we're citizens first, um, and try and see that they do something great. Um, Again, you know, politics being what it is, a uh, particular uh, party might say wonderful, wonderful things as they're vying for power and then not do any of them or do something completely different once they are in power and vice versa. They may say terrible things and then when they actually get into power and, and they have to like, oh, well, now we got to run things, they might do the right thing. And, and that's how we kind of approach it. We judge them and uh, give them kudos where applicable and tell them where they're stepping uh, wrongly uh, as uh, whenever, whenever that's the case. Um, that has been, in the last sort of five years, we've seen a lot of it where we used to have to go to them. Uh, now they're coming to us, so it's good. Uh, we are focused on promotion of the electric vehicles, of course, and uh, we are founded with solar, you know, so that you can power your own car uh, from the sun. And we see these two uh, technologies, as well as storage, as being the kind of the, the wave of the future. Well, the wave of the now, really. Um, this is how we can, we can take, go forward and have transportation kind of lead the rest of the economy into a cleaner, greener, smarter, uh, more inclusive and resilient sort of a, of a place to be. And our mission statement probably sounds kind of familiar. We help accelerate the change to a sustainable energy future. Um, as a lot of you know, once you have an electric vehicle in your life, you look at that and then you look at other aspects of your life that may still be driven by fossil fuels and you kind of think huh maybe there's something i can do there to, to shift that you know even if it's like retiring your your propane barbecue and going for an electric uh, however uh, we have some functions prime functions that we do we have a public engagement so this is us getting out to doing car shows in the summertime uh, working with uh, different groups to do that. EV demos, when people want to uh, get out and see a particular type of EV, they'll get in touch with us. We'll try and find a member who has that vehicle uh, so they can get uh, the unvarnished truth about the vehicle. 
we do uh, briefings. We'll go out to different groups that want to know more about electric vehicles and give them the lowdown. Uh, recently, I was out to the uh, Ford and Friends Early V8 Club, and that was very interesting. Um, we also have, uh, we put these meetings plus uh, other videos we do, we put them up on YouTube. And we have a social media uh, footprint, both in Facebook and on, um, what's that other one, Jim? <laughs> Instagram. Instagram, yeah. Uh, our social media people deal with that. Uh, I just get bugged for content, but it's great. It is Instagram is so good in that it's uh, uh, in a very short time you can learn a great deal and get people interested. So uh, business engagement, uh, we get into face to face discussions with uh, businesses and try and tell them uh, and show them how moving to an EVs in their business can help um, their carbon footprint and their bottom line. Uh, the great part about the business is they really don't care how they do things as long as it helps your bottom line. So if an EV can fulfill their the roles that they need with minor adjustment, they're going to do it. And a lot of that is just making them aware of things. Uh, businesses are generally very busy people. They haven't got time to be uh, paying attention to what's going on around, around the planet. So we try and help them out with that. Government engagement. So we have worked uh, at all three levels in Canada here, municipal, provincial, and federal, uh, doing what we can to help their policies, uh, number one, meet their own, um, their own goals. Uh, as more and more governments look into things and understand that they have to uh, try and reduce their greenhouse gas uh, emissions, we try and show them how they can meet those things through electric vehicles or solar or, or whatever. And, uh, and that's been pretty, pretty good. Uh, municipal governments uh, are, are moving towards EVs. Uh, we're gonna see EVs and police forces more and more going forward. Provincially, some of the policies that they have adopted have been um, I would say it's safe to say shaped and made better uh, with our input to it. And the federal level is always a challenge <clears throat> because, um, well, heck, a lot of the time, <laughs> uh, the government, the, the federal government is too concerned with things in two provinces uh, that they can't look at all the rest. So that one's a bit more of a challenge and it's harder to point to, uh, to success there, but we don't give up. Non-government engagement. So we try and find other groups that uh, kind of are working in the same sort of field we are moving towards making things better. Uh, BC Sustainable Energy Association is one of those and uh, other electric vehicle associations, whether they're here in British Columbia or across the country. Um, it's always good to, to go to other groups who are you know, can be several years behind where we are now in British Columbia. They uh, uh, they can benefit from some of the mistakes we've made or successes we've had. So that's always a good thing. Uh, membership engagement. engagement. Well, since, <clears throat> uh, since COVID, this has been taking a bit of a hit. Uh, we haven't had as many social events or face-to-face -face meetings uh, as we used to, and we'd love to do more. Uh, we'd like to hear from the membership about um, what they would like to do with those. You know, what, what would help meet their, their needs and desires. Um, yeah, for one thing, uh, tomorrow uh, down at Motorize in View Royal, uh, they're having an event. They, they're doing an e uh, electric vehicle uh, customer Appreciation Day, and we'll be down there too, uh, working with the public. And if any of you guys are available, come on down, and uh, we'll talk to you there as well. It'll be a bit of a social. Uh, it'll be coffee and I think some munchies on hand. And research. Uh, we have the research team. Um, they 
<laughs> to start working on on issues so we can get to the ground truth of things and then that research helps provide the data and insights that we can use in all the other groupings above us all, all above this line here as you see on here um, if anybody has skills you'd like to see applied into working in any of these groupings uh, let us know at our, at our website and uh, we'll bring you on board and, and we'll, we'll have a chat and see if we can uh, uh, incorporate you and, and let you work for something that's really good. Uh, it, it's very, um, it makes you feel good when you're trying to make the world a better place uh, and for, uh, you know, not just your own betterment, but everybody's betterment.